this is Sarah. I'm here with August 27th from Charles Spurgeon's Morning and Evening Reading. Morning. How long will they not believe in me? Numbers 1411. Strive with all diligence to keep out the monster of unbelief. It, if, um, <clears throat> excuse me. It is so dishonoring to Christ that he will withdraw his visible presence if we insult him by tolerating it. It is true, it's a weed that we can never entirely remove from the soil, but we must aim at its root with zeal and perseverance. Among hateful things, it is the most to be defeated, and its hurtful nature is so poisonous, he that uses it and he upon whom it is used are both harmed by it. In your case, believer, it's most wicked. For the mercies of your Lord in the past increase your guilt in doubting him now. When you distrust the Lord Jesus, he may well cry out, Behold, I'll press you down in your place, as a cart full of sheaves presses down. To doubt is to crown his head with thorns of the sharpest kind. It's very cruel for a well-beloved wife to mistrust a kind and faithful husband. The sin is needles, foolish and unwarranted. Jesus has never given the slightest ground for our suspicions, and it's hard to be doubted by those to whom our conduct is consistently affectionate and true. Jesus is the son of the highest, and has unlimited wealth, and it's shameful to doubt omnipotence and distrust his sufficiency. The cattle on a thousand hills will be enough for our most hungry feeding, and the granaries of heaven are not likely to be emptied by our eating. If Christ were only a cistern, we might soon exhaust his fullness, but who can drain a fountain? Countless believers throughout the ages have drawn their supplies from him, and not one of them has complained at the insufficiency of his resources. Dispel this lying traitor unbelief, for his only errand is to cut the bonds of communion and make us mourn an absent Savior. Bunyan tells us unbelief has as many lives as a cat. If so, let us kill one life now and continue the work until the whole nine are gone. Um, down with you, traitor. My heart detests you. It's a good one. All right, evening. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Psalm 31, 5. These words have been frequently used by the godly in their hour of departure. We may profitably, profitably consider them this evening. The object of the believer's interest in life and death is not his body or his possessions, but his spirit. This is his choice treasure. If this is safe, then all is well. What is our physical condition compared with the soul? The believer commits his soul to the hand of God. It came from him, it is his own, and he has until now sustained it. He's able to keep it, and it is fitting that he should receive it. All things are safe in Jehovah's hands. What we entrust to the Lord will be secure, both now and in that day of days toward which we are hastening. It's peaceful living and glorious dying to rest in the care of heaven. At all times we should commit everything to Jesus' faithful hand. Then even if life should hang on a thread and difficulties multiply like the sands of the sea, our soul shall live in safety and de delight itself in quiet resting places. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Redemption is a solid basis for, for confidence. David did not know Calvary as we do, but even as redemption cheered him, so our eternal redemption will sweetly console us. Past deliverances are strong guarantees for present assistance. What the Lord has done, he will do again, for he does not change. He is faithful to his promises and gracious to his, to his saints. He will not turn away from his people. Though thou slay me, I will trust. Praise thou even from the dust. Prove and tell it as I prove thine unutterable love. Though Thou may chasten and correct, but thou never can neglect. Since the ransom price is paid on thy love, my hope is stayed. Amen. I love that poem. All right. Well, that is about it for today. Um, you guys have a great Thursday. God bless. Leave your comments below for anything you want to share about today's um, today's reading and take care. See you guys tomorrow.